this video, I'm going to show you how to put a copyright mark on this pattern that you have drawn. So, this is on the page. We'll come up here to the text at the top. Click on text to come down and put in import symbol character. Click on this and you'll have the sidebar come up here to the right. Now you might have to look through all of these, but I am on, I think mine is set up as default, but yours might be the same, it might be different, I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to sc scroll down on this. Excuse me. Make this better again. Just going to scroll down on this until I find the copyright circle with the C, which is right here. Okay, left click and drag it over. Okay, I'm going to highlight the C. I'm going to left click in this black color palette and I'm going to do a right click also come back over to your text tool on the left hand side I'm going to type in Taco Designs and of course you'll see that the my name it's smaller than this copyright mark. I'm just going to left click and drag one of these black nodes. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, in the center where the X is, I'm going to left click and drag it to be next to this copyright mark. That looks fine. Okay, I want to group all these together. So when I move them, I can move this whole section at one time. So come up here to your pick tool, left click and drag a box around all of it. Come up here to your arrange tool, go to the group, and it should be should be all grouped together. So I always like to make a copy of everything. So hit the plus key on your numeric keyboard. That will make a copy. Drag one out of the way. Click on one of them so it's highlighted. Make it small. Come over here, drop it on your page. Depending on where you want to put on your pages, your own personal preference. Now, this is one thing I like to do. You might want to think about adding this into your pattern designs. Once I have this down here on the page, I'll make another copy. Hit the plus button on your numeric keyboard. And I'm going to drag one up here to cover his feet. Okay, since it's still highlighted. I'm going to left click on the gray button and right click on the gray button. You'll see it'll put a watermark on top of your pattern. Now you can put this anywhere that you like, the watermark. You put it there. Any anywhere there's a oh, excuse me. Anywhere that would be a distinctive place, put it right here. That'd be a nice place for it. One reason I like putting this watermark is to help keep the honest people honest. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching.